Welcome back to my channel, Impart Math Knowledge. The video is about partial differential equation standard types. Check my previous videos for uh, formation of partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants and arbitrary functions. The first type is equation of the form f of p comma q is equal to 0. That is the equation contains the terms p and q only. For this problem, we have to find the complete solution. Complete solution is nothing but a solution which contains equal number of variables and constants. For finding the complete solution, assume that is equal to ax plus by plus c. We take this as number 2. Your given equation is number 1. Differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to x. We get dou z by dou x is equal to a. Dou z by dou x denoted as p. So p is equal to a. Now differentiate 2 partially with respect to y. So we get dou z by dou y is b. Dou z by dou y is denoted as q. That is q is equal to b. Substitute p is equal to a and q is equal to b in the given equation. Once you substitute, find a in terms of b or b in terms of a. After that, substitute either a or b value in the equation that is z is equal to ax plus by plus c. We will get complete solution. Let me repeat, complete solution is nothing but the number of variables and the number of constants are equal in that particular solution. Now we will do some problems for getting a clear idea. Solve p plus q is equal to pq. First you check the type of this particular equation. This equation contains p and q terms only. So we can assume z is equal to ax plus dy plus c. We take this as number 2. Now differentiate to partially with respect to x and y. Dou z by dou x is equal to a. You differentiate x term alone. Derivative of x is 1. Other terms are 0. So, dou z by dou x is equal to a. And we know that dou z by dou x is p. So, p is equal to a. Similarly, differentiate to partially with respect to y. That is, dou z by dou y is equal to b. That is, q is equal to b. Now, substitute p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation 1. Now substitute P and Q value here that is A plus B which is equal to AB. Whenever you are doing these kind of problem, you have to change P as A and Q as B always. Check this as number 3. From this equation, either you write A value or B value. A minus AB equal to minus b. So a is common, take it outside. 1 minus b is equal to minus b. So a is equal to minus b by 1 minus b. We can also write this as b by b minus 1. Now substitute a value in z is equal to ax plus by plus c that is a value is b by b minus 1 x plus by plus c. This equation contains equal number of uh, constants and variables. The constants are b and c, variables are x and y. So we can say that this is the complete integral or complete solution. The procedure for doing this problem is very simple. First, you assume that z is equal to x plus by plus c. Then you differentiate the same with respect to x and y. 
we get P is equal to A and Q is equal to B. In the given equation, replace P as A and Q as B. From that equation, either you find A or B. Now substitute in the equation Z is equal to AX plus BY plus C. We will get the complete integral. For better understanding, I will explain one more problem. The problem is P square minus 2PQ plus 3Q is equal to 5. This equation contains P and Q terms. So given P square minus 2PQ plus 3Q is equal to 5. You take this as number 1. This equation contains P and Q terms. So we assume that Z is equal to AX plus BY plus C. Differentiating to partially with respect to X that is dou Z by dou X is equal to A. That is P is equal to A. Dou Z by dou Y is equal to B. That is Q is equal to B. Now in equation 1, in the place of P you put A. In the place of Q you put B. So we will get P square minus 2PQ plus 3Q is equal to 5. Substituting the values we get A square minus 2AB plus 3B is equal to 5. You take this as number 3. From equation 3 find A or B. Simplifying this equation we get minus 2AB plus 3B is equal to 5. When a square goes to right hand side, it becomes minus a square. Uh, b is common, take it outside. Minus 2a plus 3 is equal to 5 minus a square. So b is equal to 5 minus a square by minus 2a plus 3. You can even write this as 5 minus a square by 3 minus 2a. Now substitute B value in Z is equal to AX plus BY plus C. That is Z is equal to AX. In the place of B you put minus 5 minus A square 3 minus 2A Y plus C. Look at the solution. Here the constants are A and C. Variables are X and Y. So this is the complete solution for the given problem. For better understanding, practice this problem. If you have any doubt, please comment in the comment box. Thank you.